We both woke up with eyes that look like we got punched, like so swollen. And I think it's because we worked, Deb loaded up all of that tree brush and then we had to unload it and I was getting hit in the face with everything and it's probably pollen. Deb's are as bad as mine today, so that's always great. Deb is actually still sleeping. I am. It looks like she's awake, but she's sleeping. She's eating one of our heart chews. Did you guys see the stories the other day whenever I shared their Super Beat heart chews? They are they, so good. They taste almost like candy, <laughs> but they're actually good for you. Yeah, and they give you a little boost of energy. Let me show you. I'll turn the camera back around. <laughs> they have um, beetroot and grapeseed extract, which helps regulate uh, blood pressure. They did just renew my code for only 48 hours. DND will get you 20% off. I'm going to put my link here, tap through that. I also want to share the mantles today at some point. Um, I was kind of shocked how it turned out. So stay tuned. I have some really fun things planned for the newsletter coming up this weekend, this coming Sunday. So I'm gonna put a link here because you don't wanna miss it. Make sure that you sign up to get our emails. It's only like three a week. And last week, Deb and I discussed um, that trip possibility, taking a trip. We discussed Alaska, but we can go anywhere. I'm going to attach the links again here on these stories. If you're interested in planning a fun trip with Deb and I, um, make sure that you fill this form out because they're going to collect the data and see where the most popular place people want to go and we'll plan accordingly. Um, and I think this questionnaire, if I remember right, because I looked at it a long time ago, but it just has your preference of destination, um, like the time of year that would be good, the cost that is good for you, and just that kind of stuff. Dan Danelle, is that who you are? Danelle and I have a wager. What? We're waiting for my mom to call. Here's the story. My mom asked me a month ago, at least, if I would take her to Lima because she has a recall on her car. And I said, sure. So... Did she set up the day and time or did she you? She called and made the appointment and everything. Oh, she made the appointment. Yes. So. She has asked me at least three times a week for the last month to go with her. Now you remember we have an appointment. I said, yes. Normally she asks me these questions when I go down. Yesterday she called in the evening. I'd already talked to her that day and she asked me once again. I said, yes, mom, it's on my calendar. She called me last night and said, did I ever ask you to take me to Lima? I have a recall on my car I need to fix. I said, yes, mom, I gotcha. We're leaving at eight o'clock. I'm waiting on the call today. It's coming, it's coming. And then I'm... do you have to car shop? Well, that's what she says. She wants a different car, whatever. Um, so I don't know what's going on in her life this week. If she's doing some extra work for dad because she takes care of dad basically but she is nuttier than a fruitcake. <laughs> so I'm gonna need all your good vibes, prayers for tomorrow. We leave at 8 a.m. I'm hoping that she gets a good night's sleep because if she does not, when I come home tomorrow, I'm gonna be nuttier than a fruitcake. <laughs>
gave me a link, so I'm gonna put it here, and it is, my code is Deb and D. I'll type it out here. Um, you will get 15% off of your first month's supply of the Seeds DS01 Daily Symbiotic. They are the ones that have the probiotic inside this prebiotic. If I open this up, there's a smaller capsule in there. These are the best I have found. The prebiotic protects the probiotic through your system and gets it all the way to the to your colon. So I wanted to share that link again for those of you who were having a hard time. Um, tap through it and then use Deb and D, I think. Is that what I said? <laughs> I just took the mantle, the one mantle, the other one's still up there, out of the truck. And I am going to try the easy off method. Hi, Mom. No. I don't carry my phone around on my hip. No, not at all. <laughs> yes, I am. I hope I did not just make a huge mistake. It looks red and that's the last thing I want it to look like. I don't know if another coat will help. I'm going to let it dry quick. This is what it looks like. As I shared on the reel, we just <laughs> set this in front of the other to get it out of the way. And it's probably actually just going to stay here at this point. And it looks pretty true to color is what it does on the screen um, in person. You know what I'm saying. Um, and I did nothing to it. All I did was strip it and let it dry. I did not seal it. I'm assuming I probably will. I might seal it with a matte sealer so it doesn't change anything. But we think this wood is walnut. And to be honest, it is in such good shape you would think it was a brand new one. There are square nails holding it together. And you can see, not on this one, on the other one, it even has like little burn marks. On it. I think it is so pretty. Um, the color of the wood is really pretty. I might try to just make it a little bit warmer. And I probably will do that with some type of a poly. I will, I, sh I recorded some of the second mantle yesterday, so I'm go going to share how that one was. That one was even more red. Well, you might have, I think I might have, you might have already seen them. The second one turned out, it looks n less red in person than what it does here on the screen. So the, the screen makes, or what you're seeing makes it look a little bit more red. There's absolutely no red in this. This, yes, that's oak. This, there is no red, no orange. It's shocking what it looks like wet. This actually will, is going to be one of my next pieces that I use that oven cleaner on because this is way too orange and it is, it's just not, not good. The finish is awful. Anyways, as you can see, this one has kind of like this little scallopy look and I had someone ask if they were matching. And then this one has the panels. I'm going to be sharing lots and lots of ideas this week for the upcoming Mother's Day. And today I wanted to remind you that one of the best gifts that you could give is StoryWorth. Recipients of StoryWorth receive a question weekly through email. And the questions range from things like, how did you do in school when you were younger? What was your first car you drove? At the end of the year, 
all of your stories are preserved in a beautifully bound book that you can um, also order different copies for different family members. If my grandma were alive today, this would have been the best gift for her. She was born, I can't remember, I think 1906. So she remembered the wars, the Great Depression, um, and she remembered when the peddler would come around in a buggy and sell sugar and flour and all of the essentials to her parents. Deb's mom remembers things from years and years ago and can tell lots of stories. So we are going to gift her story worth for Mother's Day. And that way, everyone, generations later, will know the stories. And story worth is such a great uh, gift for the hard to buy for or people who have everything. I do have a link. Tap through this and you will get $10 off of your first story worth purchase.